Hi, I'm Harney. I'm Becca. And I'm Genevieve. And we are going to show you how to divide using partial quotients. The partial quotient method is an easy way to divide large numbers. Let's start with a scenario. Becca picked 251 cherries. She wanted to share them equally amongst eight friends. That's 251 divided by eight. So let's get started. First draw a traditional division algorithm, but we will extend it along the right-hand side. Write your divisor eight on the outside of the algorithm and your dividend 251 on the inside. First, ask yourself, how many groups of eight are in 251? There are at least 10 groups of eight in 251. So we can multiply eight by 10 and get 80. Now put 80 under 251 and subtract it. Draw a line going a little past the extended line and put 10 on the end of the line to show 10 groups of 8. Subtract your 10 groups of 8 from the dividend. 251 minus 80 should be 171. Next, ask yourself how many groups of 8 are in 171. There are at least 10 groups of 8, so you can multiply by 10 again. Again, put another line a little beyond the extended line and put another 10 to show 10 more groups of 8. 80 subtracted from 171 equals 91, which is still bigger than 8, which means you've got more groups of 8 to divide. So ask yourself, how many groups of 8 are in 91? There are at least 10 groups of 8 in 91. So multiply 8 by 10 and subtract 80 from 91. You should get 11. So, how many more groups of 8 fit into 11? If you said 1, you are correct. Multiply 1 by 8 to get 8, and subtract that from 11. You get a remainder of 3. Now add up the numbers on the outside of the extended line, which tell you how many total groups of 8 you have in 251. You get 31 groups of 8 with a remainder of 3. A remainder is part of the dividend that's less than the divisor, so that means you can't evenly divide it by the divisor. So Becca's 8 friends each get 31 cherries to eat and there will be 3 left over. Therefore, 251 divided by 8 equals 31 remainder 3. Thanks for watching, and for more videos, go to our YouTube channel at Curiosity Films.